What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the movie guy, and here's my thoughts on the Batman, the second trailer that came out on DC Fandom over the weekend. Woo! I love this trailer, man. Wow, it was just so incredible on so many levels, just like the teaser trailer that came out during the DC Fandom last year, which I did a video on it on my channel. You can check it out. Click on the circle icon on top. I love that teaser trailer that came out last year. It was just so awesome, just like this trailer. And personally for me, as a Batman fan, I didn't need this second trailer because for one, like I said, the teaser trailer definitely had me like hooked. I remember my excitement levels for that trailer. Oh, it was just so awesome. And this one was just so good. So I can't complain. Hey, we I got we got it. So I was happy to see it, man. Oh, I've seen the trailer probably like 20 times already. I'm hoping I'm wishing the movie came out right now, man. But it's coming out on March 4th, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comment section what day that is. But I'm pretty sure I think it said March 4th or something. And it looks it looks awesome, man. Where do I begin with the trailer, man? Oh. Pretty much at the beginning of the trailer, we see the cops getting the Riddler and stuff. Then we see the coffee and stuff inside. It has a question mark in it. And I just like, oh, this this looks good, man. And, and just pretty much the, the vibe I'm getting that the Riddler's going to be the main bad guy in this movie, which I'm happy about because I like the Riddler. He's one of my favorite Batman villains and stuff. He's very trickery and stuff like that. He liked to put all these riddles. And this one I like. This interpretation of Riddler so far, what I've seen in the trailer, this looked like the more grounded approach of Riddler and stuff, going to cause a lot of chaos, put you on the edge of the seat, like he's going to create these little mind trick games on Batman and going to probably kill somebody here, and that's one of the things I liked about this, the way this Riddler is going, they the approach that Matt Reeves going with the Riddler instead of the one we got from Batman Forever and stuff, which I like Jim Carrey's Riddler on Batman Forever and stuff, but hey, it just... That was kind of a little very campy and cheesy and stuff like that. And kind of that, I'll mention that, I'll talk about that movie in the future when I review it. But that was more silly and over the top and stuff. But this one looks more grounded approach, which I can't wait to see. Like I said, all the stuff, put you on the edge of see. This Riddler look like he's going to cause havoc and stuff and cause Batman to try to figure out everything, which I can't wait to see, man. And there's other villains I will mention about that we've seen in the trailer but man the Riddler here it just it looks it looks awesome I can't wait to see the actor I forgot the actor's name that's playing the Riddler but I can't wait to see his interpretation of Riddler and it looks good and stuff then the voiceover in the trailer which is so awesome had gave me goosebumps and chills down my spine and then the music that was that was in the trailer oh man it just the vibe of it it just I can't wait if they they going they going to use it in the movie it's just going to look awesome gave me a little bit of dark night uh vibes to it but more with the detective vibes cuz Matt Reeves said he's going to add the make more, make it a more detective batman film which i can't wait to see cuz batman is called like the greatest detective and stuff so i can't wait to see that and this would be a totally different batman film versus the ones that we have got from the michael keatons to the christian bell Ben Affleck, more detective vibe, and I can't wait to see that. It just, it's gonna look awesome. Everything about it, I can't wait to see. And pretty much the voiceover stuff, like I said, look, looks good in the trailer. I know some of the voiceover stuff, I like what Batman says in it, like fear is a tool, and when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call, it's a warning. That alone, oh, just. It, yeah, it, it did everything for me. We see Batman shocking one of the goons in the trailer and stuff. All that great stuff in there. So, I can't wait to see Robert Pattinson interpretation of Batman. He's, he's been doing good and awesome in the movies he had played in and stuff like Good Time, The Lighthouse, everything and all that stuff. He's been doing good in other movies so far and stuff. So, I can't wait to see it after being in the Twilight movies, which I haven't seen the Twilight movies and stuff. But from what I've heard, they've been mixed react some people like some of them and some were okay but i never seen none of them but the ones i've the movies i've seen of robert pattinson like the lighthouse and good time he was really really good in those films so i highly recommend you checking those films out if you haven't seen them yet so can't wait to see his interpretation of batman so far from the trailer it looked like he's going to do an awesome job in it and we finally get to see um Alfred Penny's work played by Andy Serkis which I love Andy Serkis as an actor he is fantastic on so many levels and stuff voice like I've already mentioned in my other review from 
the Venom, let there be carnage and stuff like that. And I mentioned him and the Mowgli Legend of the Jungle and stuff, and him motion capturing as Caesar. I can't wait to see his, his portrayal as Alfred Penny's work. It's gonna look awesome. His voice over in the trailer, which is great and stuff. We see um, Zoe Kravitz in there as Catwoman. Can't wait to see her interpretation. Can't wait to see her and Robert Pattinson's chemistry on screen from the trailer. It looks good and stuff and all that. And the voiceovers we hear from her in the trailer, it just great and everything. Then we get to see Colin Farrell's uh, as Penguins for the first time in the trailer, which I can't wait to see his interpretation of Penguin because for a long time, my favorite of Penguin was from Batman Returns played by Danny DeVito. And I think Danny DeVito did an incredible job as Penguin. I know a lot of people don't like Batman Returns, but hey, that's one of my favorite Batman movies and stuff. And I thought his portrayal as the Penguin was really good. So I can't wait to see what Colin Farrell brings to the table as the Penguin it's gonna look really, really good, man. Oh, it the, the stuff that the ping was saying in this trailer, it had me laughing a little bit because I didn't expect the um penguin to say that in the trailer and stuff. The one part he says like, Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart, and stuff. That was just funny. And so cause Batman was in the trailer was fighting somebody and then Batman was like, We're trying to hurt Penguin and Penguin said that. I just laughed because I'm like uh, this, that's cause like Penguin. That's Penguin like trying to uh, act like Batman's night like nothing or something, trying to pick on Batman. So I like that part in the trailer. And then a little bit of stuff I like from the trailer. We just see Batman like climb down, like when the glass chatter and stuff. I love when Batman like breaks through glass and stuff and fly like flies down and stuff when he's about to go into battle and stuff with criminals and stuff. I love that in the trailer. There's so much in the trailer. Batman's suit being all dirty. Then we see like the somebody wrapped up in bandages, which that looks like the Riddler in the trailer and stuff from the TV and stuff when we see the news, stuff like that. All that stuff looks incredible. And then the final shot in the trailer I love so much is when Penguin like driving in the car and stuff and all the flames and stuff. He said, I got you, I got you and stuff. And I'm like, I'm looking like, uh, I don't think you have him anyways, cause this is Batman we talking about. And Batman, pfft, comes out I'm like I could I was I was out of control I got I was I, was, I lost my mind because I'm like this is Batman Batman no criminal or bad guy is going to capture Batman stuff the so Batman comes and then his penguins car and the penguins like all upside down Batman's walking through the rain and stuff and the flames and all that and the, the cape and all just great and then we see the titles come up the Batman all of that is fantastic Oh, I love the trailer. It, there's so much I can say on the trailer. I'm just going to leave it as that. And that's all, man. Oh, the trailer just so awesome. And let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about the trailer? Did you like it or not? Tell me which one you like, the teaser trailer or this trailer. I'm pretty sure everybody loved, loved this trailer or liked the teaser trailer better. But let me know in the comment section down below. For me, I love both of them. I think all of them are just incredible. If they bring out another one, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be as good as the the first two that we just got right now and that's pretty much it and as always if you like this video click thumbs up and if you're new to the channel click subscribe and the bell button for more future content that's so i can see you next time on slide the movie guy peace